There is so much excitement going on for soccer fans, and Javanon FC is a local nonprofit youth soccer club with a mission to create the best environment possible for young athletes. Joining me now to share some big announcements for the Louisville soccer community is Youth Boys Director of Coaching, Bernard Baker. Hi, Bernard. Hi, Jalen. How are you? I am doing great. Okay, before we share your exciting news, first of all, can you tell us a bit more about the history of Javanon FC and what you're all about? Right. And, you know, and, and, and honestly, for for more than 30 years, Javanon has been sort of the gold standard for youth soccer in Kentucky. Um, we were founded by Ali Amadi, who's sort of the, the godfather of soccer in this community. He uh, founded it 30 years ago, as I said, and um, he's been running Javanon as, a, as a, like you said, a 501c3 nonprofit, which I love because it means everything's going right back into into the club. You know, our our indoor and outdoor facilities, our leagues, and ultimately for our players. And so Ali is, is, is definitely making sure he's giving back to our community. Uh, he's also hired a, a technical director uh, a few years ago, Juan Carlos Carreras Domingo, who comes to us from FC Barcelona, which you can't get much better than that. Um, and uh, he played and coached there, and it's, he's an incredible resource to have. And, and actually Ali's hiring another full-time person to help with our MLS Next platform, which I'll talk about in a minute. So it's an exciting time to be uh, be a part of Javanon. Absolutely. And Javanon, too, it's very inclusive for all young players. Is that right? Right. We we want to create a family environment. That's one thing Ali has always done is, is he's given the voice to the families and parents. And I think that's why we've been so successful. I mean, I can give you championships and stats and figures and all that. But, uh, but I think for the most part, Ali has always been all about making it about the players. And uh, that's the one thing that... You know, with, with last year, with everything that went down with the pandemic and not having the players on the playing grounds and, and not being a part of seasons and, and, and not having soccer, um, it was really tough. So, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're definitely excited to be out of that and, and, um, and you know, and, and being, a part, being a part of definitely growing the game again. That is so great. Okay, and like you mentioned, it's been a challenging year. I think we could all use some good news. Bernard, lay it on us. What do you have going on? With that? That's right. You know, I mean, obviously, we pivoted after the pandemic. Um, we wanted, to, we actually used it as a silver lining to to really start talking to the other clubs, other organizations in Louisville uh, and, and across the state, um, and we wanted to become a catalyst for change. You know, for growth, not just for Javanon, but for the community as a whole, and most importantly for the for the soccer players and. Uh, so we applied and we were granted membership into the, the Major League Soccer Elite Development Platform called MLS Next. And for those people that don't know what the MLS is, it's, it's, it's the NBA, it's NFL, it's Major League Baseball, it's the top uh, of the soccer pyramid in North America. And um, we were very, very fortunate to become a part of the, the top youth soccer league in North America. I mean, we're talking 500 teams, 9,000 players across US and Canada. Uh, and it features all the MLS academies and and obviously and, and actually 90% of the current youth national team player pools so we're talking World Cups Olympics those sorts of pools come out of that league so it's really the cream of the crop and this is something that the city the state has never seen before it's really unprecedented we're very lucky to to be a part of that um, but also we recognize that that's kind of the beginning of the journey for those players that want to get to that pathway because we have we've always had this distinct college pathway for our players that are led by our coaching directors uh, on the girls side Chris Tinius on the boys side Tim Chastanay um, for, for putting players in college and giving them the chance to the goals that way um, and we, we've, we've been well established there but we also wanted to have, a, have an end game for our top one percent player that wants to play professionally so uh, we've we've officially affili affiliated earlier this month with FC Cincinnati which we're really excited about. I mean, they're an hour and a half up the road. They're an MLS, they're the closest MLS team that we can find, and, and it's the top. And uh, it gives our players the opportunity, the exclusive opportunity, to, um, to get a chance to, to, to potentially play for them. Uh, once they exit the MLS Next platform, they get that opportunity to potentially play for them. And uh, I tell you, it's funny, we, we built off a lot here, and so we, we wanted to make sure that um, with these new, new endeavors that we... Um, it wasn't something we knew it wasn't something we could do on our own so uh you know we're a club of 300 400 players so competing nationally is, is 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 a daunting task you know so we announced a partnership with chivas louisville mockingbird valley premier and united 1996 local clubs here um to start this pilot program to unify our top players and so they can compete in that platform and, and maybe ultimately play for fc cincinnati 
And so um, we're now starting to talk with other clubs and partner with other clubs. And we're actually collaborating with them as well as Elite FC and Falls City Soccer Club to form a coalition to clean up recruiting, negative recruiting and, and poaching tactics during the season. So uh, we're, we're putting aside our egos and, and we're working together with them. So we're all where we're headed with soccer in Louisville. That is all so exciting. And I understand you have tryouts coming up. That's right. We have our club wide tryouts um, already beginning and we have it starting with the seven and eight year olds and it goes up to the 18 and 19 year olds and uh, parents and players interested in our program should check out our website www.javanon.org for more information about dates, times, logistics. Also, we're hosting our first MLS Next Combine for that top league. Uh, that begins the week of May 24th, and the top 11 players selected will have their club fees waived. So rather than charging $2,000, something like some clubs may do, we're making it free because we don't want it to be a deterrent for players that they can't play because they can't afford it. So we're making it free for them, much like MLS academies do. And so we're, we're hopeful and excited that that, that could be a, a great opportunity for some players. That is so awesome. Bernard, thank you so much for talking with me today. Absolutely, Joanne. Thank you.